November came up with a bit of shocking news for the fans as Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello suddenly announced their breakup on Instagram after being in a relationship for two years. Even before their relationship, they were very close friends and have known each other for quite a long time. So why did they break up? What the pair has to say about this sudden split and how are they dealing with it? Stay tuned to know the answers, but before we start, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more more updates. Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello started dating in 2019 and were spotted together at different events. The couple even spent the quarantine together where they were often photographed while taking regular walks and PDA-filled public appearances. They have also celebrated Halloween together in matching costumes and shared pictures on Instagram. No one thought they would split up so suddenly as they were quite close to each other and often photographed enjoying their time together. Sean also spent the lockdown with Camila's family and said it was a wonderful experience. In an interview with the media portal Audacity Check, he said, It feels so good. It was like writing about the first couple of months actually in the lockdown. Camila and I were so lucky because we were able to just kind of be in a still moment, and it was the first time in the past six years that we've been just able to relax and not work at all. But eventually, things did not work their way and they are no more together. Sean and Camila announced their breakup on Instagram with a joint statement they posted to their stories. They started it with, Hey guys, we've decided to end our romantic relationship, but our love for one another as humans is stronger than ever. The statement further read, We started our relationship as best friends and will continue to be best friends. We so appreciate your support from the beginning and moving forward. Camila and Sean fun. Fans shared mixed reactions over the breakup. Some thought they already see it coming, while others were sad to hear the news. One person wrote on Twitter, I'm so sad to hear this. I like them together. Talking about the reason behind their breakup, a source told Entertainment Tonight that Sean and Camilla broke up because they are in totally different places in their lives. The source also confirmed that the breakup was mutual and there are no hard feelings for each other. They realized they are in totally different places in their lives at this point, and it was time to end things. They're both sad about the split, but doing their best to take care of themselves, stay busy, and surround themselves by loved ones. According to different reports, Sean suggested the breakup, and although Camilla was not quite in favor of the idea, but eventually agreed. As per sources, although she was a bit upset at first, but is now getting out of that phase with the help of her friends and family. It was really hard for a few days, but she has been spending a lot of time with friends and keeping busy. As you guys know, Sean and Camilla were very good friends before being involved in a romantic relationship. Rumors about their relationship surfaced in 2019, when they paired up for their collaboration Senorita. Since then, they're pictured together on different occasions. Some fans even talked about a potential engagement of the couple as they spotted a ring on Camilla, but she cleared the air with her statement. I swear to God, I don't know what hand the engagement ring goes on, so sometimes I'll just like put it on the ring finger. Let's have a quick look at how they first started off as friends before announcing their relationship in 2019. Sean and Camilla met on a tour in 2014 and soon became very good friends with each other. There were some rumors about their relationship at that time and during an appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden in the same year, when they were asked about their relationship, he friend zones me, he calls me kid, and Sean also denied the rumors in the same interview. Sean once shared how close they were even before being involved in a relationship. In his interview with Entertainment Tonight, he revealed that she's been his friend since he was just 15 years old when asked about their engagement and whether they were considering it or not. He explained that they were not rushing into anything despite being the rumors about their potential relationship. I know we are really young, so I don't want to jump like insanely fast. Sean also added, but I think when you find your person, you feel and you know that you have found your person. In 2017, they paired up for the song I Know What You Did Last Summer, but things started to heat up in 2019 when Camilla split up with her boyfriend Matthew Hussey. The pair was spotted together multiple times but decided not to share many details with the public. 
while talking to Elle in October 2019. Camilla said that people can say whatever they want about their relationship, but they like to keep it under the wraps. They can speculate, but at the same time, we are going to live our own lives, enjoy it, and fall for each other like nobody is watching. That is how I want to live. She further said, I never want to open the door for people to feel like they are involved. Like I said, I want it to be mine and his. That's why I'm so tight-lipped about it, because I want to protect it. Although this statement indicated that the pair did not want to share many details of their relationship, but they also did not shy away from showing their love and affection toward each other. During an interview with UK's Clash magazine in July, Camilla said that although she does not have many friends, but considers herself lucky to find Mendez, I feel like it's so rare to meet someone in this industry and find a person of that quality, and I feel like Sean is that person for me. They were also spotted kissing at Sean's birthday party in August. Later, Camilla also wished him in an Instagram post, writing, Happy birthday to this magic human. I love you. In October 2019, Camilla again admitted she has feelings for Sean Mendez in her interview with the UK's Capital Breakfast radio show, where she said, I really, really love him a lot. The couple often shared cute notes for each other through their social media. Sean also admired her work in Cinderella through his Instagram post where he shared a photo with her and captioned it with, Congratulations, my love. I'm so proud of you. I've never seen anybody work as hard as you did to show up every day and be truly professional, kind, and authentic. I admire you so much. Such a beautiful movie with a beautiful message. In December 2020, after the release of Sean's new album Wonder, he shared their plans for the holidays. Camilla and I are going back to Canada and we're just going to quarantine with my parents and my sister and spend Christmas together. The pair celebrated their second anniversary in July this year and wished each other through their Instagram. Sean shared a kissing photo with her and captioned it with, Happy two years, my baby. While Camilla shared multiple pictures from their trip and wrote, Happy anniversary, Kuko. Here's to more joy, more friendship, and more love. While giving a peek into their relationship in August this year, Sean said that they often get into arguments but quickly bounce back to each other after realizing that things were going a little too far. We usually call each other out. We have a really honest and open relationship. I think the longer the relationship goes, the easier it seems to be to fight. He further continued, Yeah, it's definitely not that, holding hands all the time, but we're really good with each other. It never gets bad. They also made an appearance together on the red carpet at Met Gala and looked super close to each other. In October 2021, during an interview with Glamour magazine, Camilla shared her opinion about the constant interest of the public in their relationship and all the social media gossip around it. When stuff that's negative is out there, it's going to get to you. She explained to the magazine, So yeah, that's very, very challenging. I feel like it's another thing therapy has been really helpful for. Coming back to their breakup, as they shared in the note that they will continue to be each other's friends, came as no surprise, as they basically started off as friends long before things turned romantic. So what do you guys think about their breakup? Did you also expect it, or was it a surprise for you as well? Share it with us in the comment section and keep watching for more videos.